Hey everybody, tonight we're gonna finish up Kaiser Palooza. I think it's gone on long enough. I had a couple Kaiser, some of their more inexpensive knives and I was gonna drag this out a couple more days and do a video on each of these, but I'm just gonna jumble these together real quick and then bring on the final beast of the night. So check these out. This one right here is one of my favorites that I've got. And I wasn't expecting it, and I just kind of picked it up. But this is the Kaiser Bad Dog. I will check this out real quick. This is going to be real fast. I'm not going to weigh these or anything. I'm just going to go through them. One, two, about three inches of VG10. Check out the blade. That's a really cool looking blade. It's like a down sweep, recurve, spear point. Wants to do something up here. But it's really cool. It fits pretty good in my hand if I got the lanyard. It's a little bit small because of the way this comes down here. The way this front area, front grip here gets in the way. But with the lanyard, it's awesome. And the action on this thing is amazing. So, and it runs on bearings. You can check in there. I believe it's bearings. It might not be. I messed up, got called out last week. But that looks like bearings to me. So, Kaiser Bad Dog. Very cool. This smoothed out G10 on here. It's not super smoothed out like carbon fiber smooth. It's got just a tiny bit of excellent texture on there and so it feels good. So you got one, two, three, about all just at three and three quarters inches of that smoothed out G10. It is right hand tip up only, but with that liner lock in there, you don't have to worry about, it doesn't really matter. Because, you know, sometimes with the frame lock, you pinch down the wrong way and you can't get it open with one hand. But this is not a problem. And the thing this flicks open nicely, just easily. Detent is perfect on that thing. And the, flip, the flipper works nicely. I think that's about it. Open construction. Very light. Ah, am I going to have to? I will weigh it. Oh, I can't stop to weigh it. I can't stop. All right, I can't stop myself. We're going to do it real quick. All right, you're looking at 82 grams, that's light. I don't even know that measurement, but I know that's light. And look, under three ounces, even with the fro. This thing is an excellent pocket chunker. Just a cool knife. Cool knife, take the church with you. That's right. This will slice right through. You know, you're bored and you're cutting up the envelopes, those church envelopes that your dad never uses he just kind of reaches into his pocket and chunks money in there but you can carve up the envelopes because they owe you one you put some money in you can do what you want with an envelope it was going to be gone anyways so that's the one right here this would be a perfect little church envelope carving knife and it flips open great check that out i know i know i'm gonna i'm gonna go slow now i'm gonna slow down for the people who don't like all the flipping all right check that out Slow, slowly. And I like the color. It's kind of a light OD greenish with some waves in it. It's kind of cool. All right. Okay, that is the Kaiser Bad Dog. One of their, not budget, like I said, but less costly knives. All right, now we're going to check this one out real quick. This is the Sovereign. Let's see if I can get this bad boy open without ruining it for any kind of future trade issues. I doubt it. I don't think it's going to happen. No, nope, that ain't going to work. All right, that's it. Kaiser Sovereign. There you go, folks. Enjoy. All right. Come on. I've had one of these before. These things flip nicely. This is a nice flip on this thing here. And for a budget, check this out. All right. Of course, it comes with the cloth and the paperwork and the little plastic thing that I'll probably never ever get back in there. Oh, check that flip. That was beautiful, huh? You're a momo. All right, this feels good in hand. This has got a nice, nice grip area. Oh, check that out. Left, right, left, right, tip up. Oh, that's nice. We'll check that out in a second. You're out of, you're out of order. Two, three, just one, two, three. Just over three and a half inches, about 3.6 inches. VG10 on the Sovereign. Kind of a sheep's foot looking blade there. Nice sweep up there on that blade. Doesn't 
not super, super sharp, but sharp enough to do damage and fairly easy to sharpen with that VG10. And if you have, if you're not just coming from the bad dog and you get ready for this, this is not a easy, not hard to flip open. It's got a nice flip to it. Boom. And let's check out the handle real quick. I'm gonna hurry because I've got the big one I wanna get to. One, two, three, four. Just over four and a half inches of handle there. Like I said, left, right, tip up. Substantial lanyard hole. Open construction. It's gonna make it easy to easy to keep clean when you're out there in the wilderness hacking down stuff with this thing okay let's check out the weight real quick i'm, I'm going hurry i'm going hurry. i'm going quick okay 5.36 ounces a little bit hefty for some of you people i understand that but it doesn't i don't know why is 5.36 ounces not that big of a deal this doesn't feel like a big deal to me but I know a lot of y'all like the lighter knives and this is not under four ounces like some of y'all like. All right, 153 grams. So it's almost twice as heavy as this one. This one's nice. Oh! This feels assisted almost. Let me just, but it's not. Okay, so there you go. Now these, you can buy both of these knives for about one half of what we're gonna check out the other one for. So let's get, should we put these back and then get back? Yeah, let's put these back real quick. I'm gonna put them back real quick. I don't know if I'm gonna keep this on the video. I might, maybe I'll tell the joke, something funny. All right, man walks into a bar. No, no I don't know any of those that end well. Not for this audience. Most of them end with something bad happening. All right, no man walks into the bar. All right, they're out of, out of range. Let's bring in the dog, the one that I wanted. This is the one I wanted to end Kaiser Palooza with. This is my favorite Kaiser. I know what y'all are thinking. You already showed us your favorite Kaiser. We already saw it. All right, let me bring out the other one real quick. That y'all are thinking is my favorite Kaiser, and it's not. It's close, but it's not. Well, maybe I won't. I can't get these darn boxes open because I got chunky fingers. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, there's a lot of anger there. A lot of anger. All right. All right. All right. There we go. That yeah, worked out well. We'll never be able to use that box again. Okay, so this here in this package. <laughs> oh, me. This is. Oh, this hasn't even opened yet. Ah, let's open it right here on camera. Check this out. Oh, yeah. The Mega Ethereum. Oh, if I hadn't already done this, this of course would have been. You know what? I may be changing my mind. <laughs> this might be my favorite Kaiser. Holy heck, the thing is awesome. All right, well, let's put that away. Holy cow. Man, if y'all don't have a Mega Ethereum, y'all need to get one. Especially if you like this kind of knife. It's a little bit different. Have you seen this guy's newest knife from Wii? Holy heck, the thing is awesome. I might have to take out some student loans to get one, though. I think it's pretty pricey. Looks like something that fell out of a Autobot's pocket or something. All right, so let's see if I can open this one a little bit easier. That was a little bit easier. All right, this is, and I don't know, I'm gonna mess the name up pretty badly here. The Mjö, the Mjö, the Mjö, and this is, oh, yes, the Kaiser Mjölnir. Mjöln, oh, check that out. Oh, I'm just gonna leave that there for a second. Let the angel sing. Let the silence get to you. Ooh. Look at that. Oh, wow. Check that bad boy out. All right, so let's get into this. Man, this thing. This thing is unbelievable. I got this in a trade, and it is just crazy. We got one, two, three. About 3.75 inches of M390. 
There's the word I'm trying to pronounce. There you go. Mjolnir, I believe. And wow. M390 steel on that blade. Just a nice shaped blade. It's got a little bit of a thumb rest here. Maybe, I guess, is that what you're looking for? And the rest of this thing is just amazing. It just, oh man. I know, I know y'all are thinking that, that Mega Ethereum, but this thing, I'm gonna weigh this thing. You're not gonna believe how much this thing weighs. First off, it just feels so light in my hand. And it's so well balanced. I mean, all in the handle, the way this handle just sweeps down in the back. All right, let's get into the handle a little bit too, but check out that blade. Oh, wow. I'm telling you, there's a reason this is my favorite. You got one, two, three, four, about four and three quarter inches of titanium on that bad boy. Check it out. Now it is right hand. Was that? Wait a minute. No, that's not for that, is it? It is. It is left right tip up. Holy cow. I guess it's got an insert in there that you put in there. So you got left, right, tip up, carry. Oh, wow, this thing's awesome. And it just flips open nicely, drops nicely, runs on those bearings in there. You see that? It's hard to see. Oh, the flipper is not jimped out of its mind, so it's not tearing your finger up, and it just snaps open. I think you'd have to put the, I mean, you could maybe put the lanyard through there, but I would rather put it on that spacer there. What do you think? I think so. You got enough room there for your lanyard. I don't even know if I'll put a lanyard on this one. This thing fits so nicely. This just, you can't believe the grip on this thing. It follows the contours of your finger perfectly. Just a great grip on this. You got open construction on this. This titanium, is it? It's got to be all milled out in there or something because this thing is so light. Can we see in there that well? We cannot. I wish it had more light. Yeah, it is milled out. Holy heck, the whole thing is milled out. It's like all this milling in there. I need a flashlight. Let's get a flashlight and check it out in there. Hold on a second. Let's get a flashlight. All right. Let me check it out. Oh, wow. Look at all that milling they did on there. Can you see that? Let's get it from this angle. Look at that, they milled all that out. That's why this thing is so light. Holy heck, you can't believe how light this is. Well, you can, I'm gonna show you in a second. It's not like it's a mystery. If only there was a device that would let us know how light it is. Someday, son, someday. That day is today. All right, of course it's got the little swirly on the pivots. You know, I like that. It does have the frame lock insert. So you're not gonna wear down the titanium on that blade. It's gonna stay nice and locked up, and this thing is just locked up like crazy. Check it out. All right, let's get the weight on this thing. That's what's gonna be awesome. So we check out how much this thing weighs. All right, let's get that thing going here. 160 grams. And 5.68 ounces, 5.7 ounces. Now that seems kind of heavy, but let's see if we can find something else that's kind of in that size range and compare it. I guess I don't have anything right now that might work. Let's check it out, hold on. I've gotten rid of a bunch of my Kaiser, so it doesn't really make sense unless we show you. Well, I mean, let's, we could look at the Megatherium. The Mega Therium has a serious problem. It's super, but it weighs a lot. Let's check that out. All right, so we're looking at that 5.7. And like I said, 5.7 for me is not 5.7 for other people. It doesn't feel that seriously overweight for me. And in fact, the way this is balanced, and there's not very much weight in that handle, it feels great. All right, here's the Megatherium coming in at a robust 6.38. I 
And this one's coming in at a... Well, shoot. Maybe I should carry this one more. That's not that much more. It's only like, what, six, carry two, like six tenths of an ounce more. Oh, man. Let's check both of these out in hand. Oh, look at that. Oh, they did such a good job. Both of these knives. I'm telling you guys. You know what? These two and that sheepdog. If you're looking for something that's kind of like this stuff, titanium blit, you know, titanium handles, and just out there and feels good in hand, you're not going to beat those three for flipping for the blade. Now this has M390, M390 steel, so this might be up there at the winter right now, just because of the steel, and it, it is, in fact, a little bit lighter. But I'm telling you, this Megatherium, I will be keeping this one. I sold one keeping this one mostly because I tore that box open trying to get it out but all right so back to the millionaire this thing is awesome guys if you get a chance to pick one of these up do not hesitate this will make you happy all right there we go the Kaiser millionaire you don't have to be the Hulk to pick it up because it is rather light and balanced very well that doesn't go with that. Okay, so there we go. Kaiser Palooza is over. Got, got through most of my Kaisers. I think I have one left somewhere. But we've already been over that one, I think. The well, the Mega Ethereum, and then there's another budget Kaiser I have. But this is it. This I'm gonna end on my favorite. This thing is great. Try and check one of these out if you're into this kind of stuff. If you're looking at something like a ZT and you want something ZT or you know like a Wii and don't don't count Kaisers out. Don't count this blade out. You know, I know a lot of people like the Mega Ethereum and, and they like the gurus and the other Kaisers and this one and I know it sounds weird to say it, but it kind of just looks plain and there's no really a whole lot of stuff and nobody's gonna go, oh my gosh, I gotta have that. But once you get this thing in hand. This, that's where it all comes together with this knife. Getting this in hand is the biggest deal about this knife. Looking at this in a window or online somewhere is not going to be as awesome as when you pick this thing up and you just feel it. It just, just feels it's going to sell you right away. I got this thing in a trade and I was going to sell it and I'm not going to sell it. This thing is awesome. This will be the last Kaiser I ever sell. If I, if I get around to that, but I don't think I'm going to sell this one ever. Okay, that's it. Kaiser Palooza done. <clears throat> Put it in the books. Okay, get over to Facebook. Got some cool stuff going on over there. Really nice people to talk to. And let's see what else we got going. Like, subscribe. Let me know. Do you have this knife? Have you ever held onto this knife? Do you have a favorite Kaiser? Let me know what your favorite Kaiser is. I could be wrong, you know, maybe something else is out there I don't know about. This is my favorite for now. If I get something new, of course I'll show you. But let me know what you think about the Mjolnir, about the Megatherium, about anything we've been over this week, the Uprising. I think that's it for the big ones. And then that one with the, the flippy, the Wanderer. Oh no. Hey, let me know if y'all want to buy the Wanderer because I can't open it. And my children are ashamed of me for not being able to open that knife very well. All right. I think that's it. I will talk to you all later.